deserves the praise today. Come on, everybody, all over the room, open your mouth and worship. Lift your hands and bless them in this place. guys just waiting for more people to come in and then we start You deserve it. 
Hallelujah belongs to you. Hallelujah belongs to you. My Hallelujah belongs to you. Hi, 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 Victor. Hi, Yotobong. Hi, Faith. Victor, hi, Yotobong. Hi, I see you. Thanks for tuning in. So, I've just been playing a lot of songs, waiting for people to come in. I know I said I was gonna come on, on two, in two hours' time, and I was pretty busy today. And when I come late, a lot of people get busy, but that's fine. I'm just gonna go ahead and start, and other people can view later, or they can go back and watch. I hope everyone had a good day, and everyone is having a good day wherever you are. God bless you. 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 I love you all so much, and I know that in a short while, God will do something marvelous for you all. So today, I'll be speaking on the topic that says, Comparison is a thief of happiness. Don't compare your life to others. Comparison is a thief of happiness. Don't compare your life to others. Don't compare your life with others. Don't wish to be like anybody. You are unique. You are important. You are precious. You are fearfully. You are wonderfully made. You know something? I'm going to tell you people something. Why you shouldn't. I'm going to tell you something. I, I don't know if you can hear me. Am I loud? Please, if I'm loud and you can hear me, can you just tell me? Can you just write, we can hear you? If you can hear me, can you just say, I can hear you? Because it's like I'm not audible. If you can hear me loud and clear, can you just tell me that I'm loud, I'm audible enough? Thank you. Okay, so I'm, I was trying to say I'm going to give you a reason why you shouldn't compare your life to others. The reason is because people fake a lot. The life you see people live on the social media is different from the real life that they live. The things you see people do on the social media is very different from their real life. I don't understand. Like, can you guys hear me? Can you hear me, please? I don't know if you guys can hear me. Anyway, that's fine. So, the life people live on social media. Okay, all right, Victor, thank you. So, the life people live on social media is quite different from the the life they real they live in real, like in reality. The life you see people put on on the social media, the picture editing and all of that. It's so fake and you are there wishing to be like people the people you're wishing to be like do you have any idea about their stories do you know what it is they do to keep in touch to get things along do you know how it takes them to stay in line with the thing 
living a fake life is like telling lies. You know when you tell a lie, you got to put up with more lies, with more lies, with more lies to support the first lie, to support the first lie. And then it just keeps going. It keeps going. It keeps going. You keep lying and lying and lying and lying and lying. And before you know it, you have so messed up your life. Like you wish you can go back to correct all the lies that you have lied. Some people will go ahead and lie even when they have been caught. Some people will lie even when they have known that they have been caught or even when they have realized that what they are saying is wrong, what they are saying is not true. They will still keep on lying. They will keep on lying and lying and lying to support the other lie. That is, lie is like a fake life. When you live a fake life, you don't have a car. You will borrow pills. You borrow cars just to please people that don't matter. You will borrow clothes. Do you know that some people go as far as borrowing clothes to wear? <laughs> Do you know that some people go as far as renting clothes to wear just to show up? Do you know that some people go extra miles to keep up with a fake life that do not even mean anything to them? Do you know? Hi, Janet. Welcome, Janet. Do you know that people keep a very fake life just to please people that do not matter? You don't need to compare your life to anybody. A lady has a rich husband. A lady has a rich boyfriend. And you want to be like her. Your boyfriend is not rich. Your boyfriend does not have anything that it takes. Your girlfriend does not have anything that it takes. And you are there. You don't want to marry or you don't want to showcase whoever you have in your life because the person does not have fake life. Stop comparing your life with others. Comparison is a thief of happiness. The people that you're comparing your life with, do you know that? Do you know that people pretend well? For the fact that somebody comes up and looks so beautiful and so happy, it looks so handsome and so happy, does not mean that everything is going on fine for that person. Do you know that people fake very well? And you are there comparing your life. You are comparing your job. You're comparing your car. You're comparing your house. You're comparing your children. You're comparing your beauty. What's wrong with people? What's wrong with us? Like, what is wrong with us? If you, if you live a life of comparing yourself with others, you will never be, you would never be happy. Comparison is a thief of happiness. Stop wishing for your husband to be like my husband. Stop wishing for your boyfriend to be like my boyfriend. Stop wishing for your wife to be like my wife. Stop wishing for, for, for me to be like your wife. We are different people. You gotta appreciate people the way they are. Stop comparing people to other people. They are not the same. I am different. You are different. That is what makes us unique. Stop comparing your car to mine. You don't know how much I pay in a month for insurance. Stop comparing your job. You don't know what is my educational status. Stop comparing your life. You don't know how long this person has lived. You don't know what they studied. What they studied in school is different. The year they were born is different. Their faces are different. Their life is different. Why are you comparing yourself to others? Why, if you want to be happy? Why do you want me to be like you? Why do you want to be like me? Why? Comparison is a thief of happiness. Stop comparing your life to others. You are different. I am different. That is what makes us unique. Begin to appreciate people. Now I'm going to tell you a story. I'm going to tell you a story. There was a lady I knew. <laughs> Every time she comes to work, she drives different cars. Every time she comes to work, she drives different cars. And then I was new in Canada. So I didn't really know how things work here. Like, I know all my life in Russia, I have not lived a crazy life. My life in, uh, in, in other places, like, I wasn't living a credit kind of life. Like, you go and get something on credit and then you'll be paying. 
I did not live that life. So that was just my first year I came. Each time she comes to work, she drives a new car. Each time she comes to work, she drives a new car. And everybody wanted to be a friend. But me, when I see people like that, I try to stay away from them because I don't want you to push me to do what I cannot get up with. I don't want you to push me to do what I can put up with. And then I notice that each time she sees you, she will come and she will hold the back of your clothes. She wants to check what brand you're wearing. And I just saw that this girl was up to something. For me, I, I don't really care. Like I'm not that type that you can easily influence. I'm not moved by what people do. I always believe that I have the best. Whatever I have, I'm contented. Whatever I have, I am okay. So I've lived that life and I, I am very comfortable. Like, you know, when you are proud, when you are contented with the little things that you have, you're contented with what you have. You're not bothered about what somebody else has or what somebody else does not have. If I have one cloth, that is my best cloth. I'm going to keep it clean and neat. And trust me, when I put on my cloth, people are going to admire me compared to you that is even wearing the most expensive things. God has blessed us that way. So each time she comes to work, she comes with a new car. Each time she comes to work, she comes with a new car. And everybody wanted to be a friend, right? Like he said, everybody wants to be associated with success. And people were rushing and rushing and trying to be a friend. And I had a small car that brings me to work and take me back home. I don't stand in the winter and beg people for a ride. So I am okay. I don't care what she writes. One faithful day. She saw that everybody comes to her and I have never come to her. And she was interested in me. She was more keen to know who is this person? Who is this lady that will not even, that is not even moved by my numerous cars? Hmm. I said, well, and when she came to me, she said she's this, she introduced herself and I told her my name. And she said, oh, can we be friends? And I said, well, that's if you can cope with me. Because um, like your lifestyle is not really something that attracts me. So we are two different people right now. And she said, oh, no, no, no. And you know what? Of all the people that were going to her, she never opened up to them. And she told me, she said, the Nissan that she uses belongs to her roommate. The other car that she, the Vesa that she drives belongs to her cousin. And uh, which other one did she have? The Acura that she's using belongs to this one. Hmm, I was just laughing. So which of this car belongs to you? She said none. She does not have a car. And you know what? Because of the lifestyle that she was putting on, a lady at the, at the workplace went and carried insurance, went and carried a mortgage of a... <laughs> a went and carried mortgage of a... What is it called? What is this? Um, Murano. She went and carried a Murano. Just because she wanted to measure up with this girl. But you see, now she has debt on her head. Meanwhile, this girl does not even have a car. She just borrows the car and she drives. Whoever is chance to give her the car, she uses. So that was why she was coming to work with different, 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 different kinds of car. And this one now, because she saw that this girl has been coming with different cars to work, she was, she was, she was intimidated. That's the word. She was intimidated. She was influenced by a lifestyle. She went and carried mortgage on her head. I'm sure she's still paying up till now for, because she needs to pay for five to six years, right? You know how 45,000, uh, 30,000, 35,000 goes. She's still paying. So come on, people. Don't be deceived about the lifestyle of people. Don't be deceived about the choices of people. Don't be deceived about the fake life that people live. Be contented in your little comfort zone. People pretend well. <laughs> people pretend well. People pretend well. Like, you see, she has gone and carried debt on her head just because she wants to live up to the expectation of people. Why do you need to please people? Why are you comparing your life to other people in the first place? Why? 
Like, I don't get it. God has blessed you with what to wear, with what to eat. You can find your way around. Why are you, I don't know. Why are, why are we so hungry for what we cannot reach? What we cannot acquire? What we cannot touch? Whatever it is that God cannot give you, do not accept it from the devil. Whatever God cannot give you, say to yourself, I do not want whatever God cannot give me. Every morning I wake up, I tell God, whatever it is that you cannot give me, I don't need it. Whatever God cannot give me, I, Dr. Kate, do not need it. I don't need it. I'm contented with what I have. Don't compare your life with others. Don't compare your relationship to others. Don't compare your marriage to others. Don't compare your children to others. Don't compare your food to others. Don't compare your clothes to others. Don't compare your cars to others. You are different. That is how they push you to go and steal. That is how they push you to go into borrowing loans here and there. You have credits here and there. And you're spoiling your records because you want to please people who do not matter. Those who love you do not care. And those who care don't matter. So why are you worried about people? Why are you comparing your life to people? Why are you comparing your life to others? How can you be happy if you wish to be like me? Do you know how many sickness I have inside of my body? You want to be like me. Do you know how many medication I live on? You want to be like me. Do you know what I have sewn my hands into? You want to be like me. You want to be like Paul. You want to be like Messi. You want to be like anybody. Why? Why can't you appreciate yourself and tell yourself, I am uniquely unique. I am important. I am beautiful. I am handsome. I am contented. You begin to make God look stupid when you do these things. You begin to tell God you don't know what you're doing. You begin to tell God, how can you bless others and not bless me? You begin to tell God you don't know what you're doing. I got to do what is right for myself. No, people. Come on, people of God. You got to not compare your life to anybody if you want to be happy. Your boyfriend cannot be like your ex. If your ex was good, why is he your ex? If they were good, why did you not stay with them? Why did you let them go? Why did they walk out of you? Now you have found somebody who truly loves you. Come on, people. You know something? You know something? Sometimes I sit down and I'm wondering. The things you cannot do for yourself, you want people to do for you. As you're sitting down there watching me, as you're standing there watching me, as you're lying down there watching me, can you, can, can you satisfy yourself? Tell me the truth. Can you satisfy yourself? No. I'm going to tell you why you cannot satisfy yourself. Has there ever been a time in your life you told yourself, I'm not going to do this. I'm never going to do this. I'm never going to do that. And then at the same time, you find yourself going back to do those things which you said you will not do. Do you feel disappointed in yourself? Yes or no? So if you do not feel disappointed in yourself when you do not keep the words that came out of your own mouth, when you set a standard for yourself and you cannot live up to your expectation, you cannot live up to your own expectation and you expect people to live up to their own expectation in your life, then you are, you, you are selfish. You are guilty of war. You are guilty of war when you expect me to behave the way you behave. You are guilty of war when you expect me to eat the things you eat. You are guilty of war when you want me to go the places you go. You are guilty of war when you want me to behave the way you behave. You are selfish. You're self-centered. You can't find everything.
everything in one person. So in as much as you do not have everything in you, do not find everything in me. You can't have it all in one person. We are all unique and different in different ways. Your ex was good in cooking. I'm good in washing. Your ex was good on bed. I am good in preaching and going to church. Your ex was good in working. I am good in caring for the house. You cannot find everything in one person. Stop comparing your life to others. If you want to be happy, let go of your past relationship and focus on the people that you're with and stop comparing your life to your exes. If you so love your exes, go and be with them. And allow innocent people to have peace. Stop comparing your life. Comparison is a thief of happiness. If you're going to keep comparing your life to mine, you would never be happy. You would never be happy. Do you know my struggles? Do you know my struggles? Do you know my tears behind the scene? Do you know my lamentation? Do you know my weaknesses? You want to be like me. If God gives you the opportunity to be like some people that you wish to be like, you would be like them and then you would tell yourself, no, I think I'm better. I want to be myself. I don't want to be like anybody. Come on. You got to be real. You got to tell yourself. Happiness is a choice. Happiness is a choice. Nobody can make you happy. Except you determine within you that you want to be happy. Comparison is a thief of happiness. So if you want to be happy, you got to make a decision and you got to stand by it. You got to tell yourself, you know what? No matter what, I want to be happy. I want to stay happy and nothing is going to stop my happiness. And then you just go ahead and then you stay happy. In as much as you keep comparing your life, your job, your house, your clothes, your food, your beauty, your children, your school, to people, sweethearts, you are not going to be happy. No. It's not magical. You are not going to be happy. Stop comparing your life to others. Do you know how many sickness they have in their bodies? Do you know what is your health issues? One day I'll shock you people. I got a testimony for you guys. I'm building up my testimony. And one day I'm going to share my testimony. I will strengthen your faith for you not to. You would never wish to be like somebody. Do you know that there are people that have to keep up with drugs, medication? Do you know that the life that you're living, you don't got to spend 15 naira on paracetamol, 15 naira on novalgin, 15 naira on folic acid or prophylaxis? Is it something? Do you know that there are people that are placed on phlebotomies? There are people that are placed on life support. There are people that are placed on oxygen. There are people that are placed on tube. There are people that are placed on monitors. There are people that are carrying bags in their body walking around. There are people that are going through, are, people are going so much pain, through pains. There are people that have a hole in their heart. Awaiting surgery. But they have all the money in this world. But then they cannot enjoy the money. They have all the riches. They have all the wealth. But they can't enjoy it. And you are there comparing yourself. These people are lying down on the hospital bed and saying, I wish I was poor and healthy. I wish I had nothing, but I have good health. People are saying, I wish I had nothing, but just one child. People are saying, I wish that God can just bless me maritally. And you are there fighting in your relationship. You are there fighting in your marriage. You are there about to be divorced. You are there about to be jilted. 
You are there thinking of how to live that person's life. Comparison is a thief of happiness. Comparison is a thief of happiness. If you want to be happy, stop comparing your life to others. You have no idea what their journey is all about. You got no idea what their journey is all about. Last two years, last two years, I had, I had a tube. I had a tube on my chest. You see? See that black spot on my chest? I was carrying it. So when I tell you guys these things, I'm not faking. I don't come here and um, cook up stories. I tell you what is real. And I use my life as an example each time I want to tell you something real. Each time I want to draw your attention to life. You're not going to go ahead and give me the like buttons. You're not going to go ahead and give me the comments. You're not going to go ahead and give me the hearts. But I got to tell you what I got to tell you. If you encourage me, good for you. You don't, good for you. Was carrying it. Two years. Two years. I dress up. I go to places. Go to work. Go to church. I was happy. If I don't show it to you, you don't know. Yet, people want to be like me. I know so many people who were wishing to be like me. And I just laugh. You know, sometimes when I see people who are so ungrateful. When I see people who are so ungrateful to God. You got a life. You do not take medication. You go to bed. You don't need somebody to change your pampas. You go to bed. You don't need no one to feed you. You go to bed. You're not looking for who to give you a shower. And you're not grateful to God. You're not grateful to God. You go on the street. You see people who don't have hands. You see people who don't have legs. They are crawling on the floor. And they are worshipping God. They are praising God. They are grateful. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? You are ashamed. You are shy. You you are you, you oh. Come on people. Come on people. You got to repent. You got to repent and tell God for being ungrateful. I am sorry. Because you have no idea what people go through. You have no idea what people go through. Go to the hospital and see people suffering. You are there comparing your life to others. You are not happy that God has given you, God has given you a loaf of bread to eat. You are there thinking of people that are eating salad and eating chicken. You are not grateful that God has given you a shelter over your roof. You are there envying people that are living in the mansion. You are not grateful that God has settled you maritally. You are there fighting your husband, fighting your boyfriend. Continue fooling yourself. You think people are going to give you a good advice? No, they will not. They will wait for you. When you are thrown out of your, uh, of your, matri your, 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 your matrimonial home, they will come and laugh at you. When you are thrown out of your relationship, they will go and date your guy. They will go and date your woman. Come on, people. Don't compare your life to anybody's life. Do you know the trouble that people go through? Do you know what can do you know do, do you know do you know the insults, the humiliation, the bullshit that people take from work to drive that car they are driving? Do you know that you cannot even tolerate the things that these people tolerate just to keep their job? And you are there comparing your life to other people. Comparison is the thief of happiness. 
If you want to be happy in life, stop comparing yourself to other people. If you want to be happy in life, stop comparing your life to other people. If you want to be happy in life, stop comparing your marriage. Stop comparing your relationship. Stop comparing your children. Stop comparing your job, your car, your house, your clothes with other people. You gotta be happy in life. Stop comparing. Comparison is a thief of happiness. You wanna be like me. You wanna be like that. Do you know? Do you know? Do you know what goes? Do you know what people go through? Like the people that you're wishing to be like. Some of them they are having fake boobs. Some of them fake hips. Fake life. And you're wishing to be like them. You're wishing to be like them. You're wishing to be like somebody who has cancer and is going to die in the next few months. You want to be like people. Do you know the trouble that the people go through? Do you know the, do you know the, do you know the cry behind every smile? Do you know the sleepless nights behind every fake life? Do you know the sleepless nights behind the fake life in the social media? Come on, people. You're being deceived. People go borrow clothes from their friends to show up. People go to the mall, buy clothes, wear, go and return them. And you are there. <laughs> oh, God. So, and when you wake up, say, God, open my eyes. Open my ears that I can hear from you. Fake life that people live. Fake life. You want to be like this. You want to be like that. You have a boyfriend that cares for you. You're comparing your boyfriend to somebody. Ooh, ooh, because, because he has money. He spoils you with money. Come. If you were to keep money. If you were to keep money. Keep love. Keep attention. Keep care. Which one will you choose? You're fighting your boyfriend because you want him to be like my boyfriend. Do you know how we fight? You're fighting your husband. Because I come out and I pretend that everything is okay. You think everything is okay. People live a fake life, people. You gotta wake up. You gotta wake up. These days, women will go in the shop, buy themselves gifts, and they bring them back home. And when their friends visit, they will say, hey, see what my husband bought for me. See what my boyfriend bought for me. It is a lie. <laughs> it is a lie. If you want to look at it very well, they went and got those things for themselves. And they are trying to psych you up so that you go back and go and fight your boyfriend. You go back, go and fight your wife. You go back, go and fight your husbands. You go back, go and fight your boyfriend. Wake up. You need God. You need the Holy Spirit to open your eyes of understanding for you to begin to know. And stop comparing your life to other people. The people you're comparing your life to. They do not have peace of mind. They can't sleep at night. It's not funny. It's not funny. Don't laugh. You want to be like someone. Hmm. I knew a lady. I knew a lady. She, she, she was so beautiful. She was so beautiful. Unfortunately, she's gone. That's why I'm using the word was. She's late. She was so beautiful. The most, the most beautiful creature. I've ever seen. She was so beautiful. I admire this lady from a distance. Oh my goodness. I admire her so much that sometimes I try to, sometimes I try to imitate her. I want to speak the way she speaks. I want to do the things she does because I admired her. But you know what? The day I visited this lady after I have admired her from a distance and she got to know that, oh, she really admires me and wants to be like me. And she invited me to a house. And I got into the house. The house was thinking. I said, come on, girl. What's going on here? She said, 
she 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 has she has what on the brace and she has to pack pack it and when she comes back home and remove all the cotton wool every waist things i sat down and i told myself what oh my goodness somebody i am wishing to be like may god do not may god not give to us what we wish for that we do not know the burden and the cross of what we are wishing for because some of us will wish for something and if god happens to give that thing to us then it becomes a problem no more a want no more a need why are you wishing to be like people why are you wishing to be like people probably the relationship you have is better than what that person has and you're comparing you want to look at you you cannot even be like paul look at how paul treats his wife look at how paul takes care of his of the wife you what are you good for you go and date paul then you will know that your 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 own man was better <laughs> you go and date them and you will realize that the person that you are with is even better come on people what's wrong with us what's wrong with us what's wrong with us you want to be like me i want to be like you you want to be like this she wants to be like you seriously do you know the struggles behind my smiles i come here and i sit down and i smile with you I come here. You only know this aspect of me. You only know this aspect of me. I come and I give joy to you. When I leave the camera, do you know what happens with me? Come on, people. You got to think. You got to reason. You got to advise yourself. Never, 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 never. The never, the never is very large. The never is very large in caps. Do not compare your life to anybody. Don't. Do not. Everyone has their struggles. Everyone has their struggles. Appreciate who you are. Be contented with what you have. Be contented with what you have. Appreciate your little beginning. And that's the only way you can improve. Stop wishing to be like anybody. Stop wishing to be like somebody. Stop wishing. If you keep comparing your life to other people, you're never going to be happy in life. You are never going to be happy in life. You're going to keep comparing your clothes. You're going to keep comparing your car. You're going to keep comparing your relationship. You're going to keep comparing your children. It is an habit. It's a spirit that you got to break off from. It is a bad spirit you got to break off from. Comparison wanting to be like somebody you are unique you are handsome you are beautiful you know before i gained my self-confidence i used to sit down and i said oh she's so beautiful i wish i can be like that oh my goodness she has beautiful legs i wish i had fat legs oh she's bossy i wish i was bossy oh she has big hips i wish i had big hips do you know the trouble of those big hips do you know the trouble of fat legs <laughs> you don't know you just wish you just wish the God that delivered me from those things, the God that delivered me from those things would deliver you in Jesus name. The God that delivered me from those evil spirits of wanting and wishing and wishing and wishing for what I found out in, 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 in the long run that it was just nothing. But mere sorrows. The woman I wanted to be like, 
had a wound in the breast which she was packing. All of this I was seeing, I even I even had real breasts. Hers was cotton wool, packed. And I was wishing. May God deliver us. Thank you so much, Alessandra. Thank you so much. I appreciate. I know. I know. I don't do this on my own. I strongly believe that I have a very great ministry. Because I have had this burden on me. And I never wanted to do it. And because I do not want to do it, my life came to a standstill. One day, I will tell you people how I became to do live show. What happened to me? That I had to accept to do this for God to open my way. I will come to that someday. So people don't know. People think that coming to come and sit down in front of people and talk is great courage. It's great courage. Whatever you're saying, you're going places. Somebody watches me from U.S. Somebody watches me from Bayama. Somebody watches me from Tweka. Somebody, a lot of viewers, they hear those words and it's against you. So it's not easy. It's not easy. It's not easy. You got to have the grace. You got to develop the skin, the thick skin. People tell you all manner of things. Nobody supports you. Nobody stands by you. But you got to do it because you know that if you don't do it, your life is going to come to a standstill. You know what a ministry is. When you have the calling, you will understand where I'm going. It as well. May God bless us. May God bless us. May God bless us. May God bless us. Please don't compare your life to anybody. You are important. You are unique. You're precious. You're fearfully. You're wonderfully made. Whatever it is that you are admiring somebody, put your knees down and pray to God. The God that gives riches and everything will give to you. What you rightfully deserve, not what you see in people. Blessings, people of God. Blessings, blessings, blessings. I bless you in the name of God the Father. I bless you in the name of God the Son. I bless you in the name of God the Holy Spirit. It shall be well with you in your finances, in everything that you do. Whatever it is that you're seeking and believing God for, may the good Lord bring it to bear. Do not envy anybody. Spread love. Tell people about God. He is worthy. Don't be shy of God. He said, if you're shy of me, I will be shy of you. Go ahead and spread love to God. Love people. Be kind to people. Be true to people. Thank you so much. I love that heart. Be kind to people. Be true to people. Be faithful. Be real. And God that knows how to satisfy people will satisfy you. I love you guys so much. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I keep on praying for you. As the new month comes on tomorrow, the Lord will open doors for you. What man finds impossible to do, it will be possible for you. Where people could not go, you would go. Protocols to be broken for your sake. People will remember you. Destiny helpers, destiny favors. I command favors from the south, from the east, from the north, from the west to locate you. People shall be gloriously celebrated. You shall be celebrated. You are next in line for a testimony. The Lord shall make his face to shine before you. Miracle jobs, miracle pregnancies, open doors. Define favor. Your finances are open. I bless you. I bless you. I bless you. I bless you. I bless your bed. I bless your water. I bless your food. I bless everything that you do. Your blessing. You're going out. Your blessing. You're coming in. Your family is blessed. Your friends are blessed. Your job is blessed. Your ministry is blessed. Whatever you touch to do, you'll be favored. Blessings, people of God. Have a good one. I love you so much. Until I see you again tomorrow. Happy new month. God bless you. Bye.